All right, what's up everyone? I'm Zach Seiss. I am a team lead for a client-facing API at IBM uh, that's powered by Kubernetes. I'm a DevOps at heart, and yeah, I work at International House of Business Machines. Uh, so just a little overview. Um, gonna level set what, oh, I guess I didn't introduce what I'm gonna be talking about. Um, yeah, I'm gonna talk about how to secure secrets, FYI. Uh, so yeah, level set, what are secrets, why are they hard, what you can do while I'm up here uh, babbling on, and uh, evaluate the current solutions that are out there. So yeah, what are we talking about here? Anything from API tokens to TLS certs, uh, keys, passwords, you know, uh, personal identifiable information. Basically something that if you tell someone you want them to keep it secret, you don't want them to tell anyone else. Hope they keep their lips their lips sealed. Uh, so yeah, I started on a greenfield project uh, about eight months ago, and uh, with a new team that was new to Go, new to Kubernetes, and quickly discovered that software engineers don't care and don't think about securing secrets at all. Uh, so it was left to the DevOps myself and uh, Brian, who you heard from earlier, uh, to secure those secrets, and the engineers just like ran away. Uh, so, had Brian and I crying at night, trying to figure out how to secure them. Um, so, what you can do while I'm talking, I know Lockheed mentioned this earlier, but Tiller stores release info in config maps by default. I was going to take this slide out, but I figured it's really important. You should just get two doses of it. Uh, so, you can specify the storage secret as a backend. It's in beta right now. Migration's manual, but hopefully that changes soon. Uh, so what's out there? Uh, we'll go through a couple of uh, solutions, uh, obviously one of them being basic, private GitHub repo, intermediate options, and advanced. I'm not going to have enough time to talk about Vault. You could probably talk at length about Vault. It's a great platform, but I just don't have enough time to get to it. Uh, so yeah, private GitHub repo. I hope most of you put secrets by, like at least behind a company firewall. Um, and you can kick your feet up and call it a day, right? Uh, pros are, you know, it's dead simple and you save so much time you don't have to worry about anything, right? Well, probably not. Uh, so, you know, your deployment strategy, you know, kind of dictates that you store all your, all your values in this separate repo. Um, if anyone gains access to the repo or if your disks are compromised that are you know, storing the data, then you're kind of screwed. Probably won't be able to sleep at night. So hopefully, You've thought about this. If not, then, well, now you have. Uh, so a couple more intermediate solutions. Uh, Helm Secrets is a plugin uh, that works as like a thin wrapper around Mozilla SOPS uh, secret operations. Uh, and it encrypts and decrypts uh, via CLI. A couple of pros. Um, you can use multiple key management solutions, uh, revision history. Of course, it's stored in Git, but it's also stored within the file. and uh, after you run, the decrypted secrets are manually or automatically like cleared out of your deployment. A couple of cons, though, uh, small community, you know, only about less than ten contributors. Um, you need to use the Helm wrapper, uh, like you can't just say Helm install, Helm init, stuff like that. Um, and it's not really a con, but if you wanted to do on-the-fly encryption decryption, you need a .sops YAML file. And I learned that you need GPG less than version two if you're gonna be using this. Uh, next up is Ansible Vault. So it's a module within Ansible, not to be confused with Vault, uh, for encrypting your files. A couple of the pros, you know, it has huge community support um, backed by Red Hat. Uh, you can use Ansible for your deployments thanks to a Helm module. So, um, I mean, that's really nice. Uh, you can encrypt single values within a single file. And you can, again, use multiple passwords to encrypt, decrypt. Uh, but cons, right, uh, now you're using Ansible for your Helm automation, so you're doing all the automations. And you still have to secure those couple of secrets, so maybe store them in like a key pass X or something like that. Uh, next up is sealed secrets. I thought it was really interesting. Um, it's from Bitnami, and I think they might have mentioned it earlier. Um, but it actually uses a custom resource within Kubernetes itself to manage the decryption uh, of the secret. And it's, you encrypt it via CLI. 
Uh, yeah, a couple of the pros. Um, you can, I mean, you can store the secrets file with basically any of these others, but also with this one. Uh, there are no back doors, um, but that's also one of the cons, right? So if you lose access to your cluster, you're kind of screwed. Um, and you also rely on Kubernetes to decrypt the secrets themselves. A uh, couple of links. And thanks, Helm Summit. I've learned a lot today, and I've been enjoying it.